Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real Hi-Fi and my third video on Lawrence Dickey's tapered tube technology. Like I said in those previous two videos, I was with them at the beginning of April in England. Now, in that first video, I talked about tapered tube technology in general. In the second video, I talked about how he's implemented it for the base. And in this video, I want to talk about something he had to do very, very different for the Kaya S12 because it's a little two-way speaker. And, well, although it has a tapered tube behind the tweeter, capturing that rearward energy from the mid-range bass driver was a little tricky, but he came up with an idea. And here is what he had to say about it. So we've done two videos so far. This is the third on the tapered tubes. The first showed the purpose of the tapered tubes and that tapered tube can go easily behind a tweeter, a mid-range, whatever. The second video was about how you had to implement the tapered tube in the Gia for the woofer. That's right. Now, your most recent loudspeaker is the S12, which is smaller than all of your speakers yeah. and represented its own challenges. That's true. To get the tapered tube, not on the tweeter, that was pretty easy, mm. but for the mid-range woofer. And yeah. what were the challenges? So, well, with gear, it's a bass chamber only. The gear is a four-way loudspeaker and the... Uh, two woofers go up to 200 odd hertz um, and the the main mode is the vertical one so that's all we have to absorb so the simple exponential horn on the top does the job completely just bass frequencies that then done but when you come to the S12 because this is a bass mid and it goes all the way up to 3k uh, it excites lateral modes as well so not just up and down yeah. but across yeah. um and I can demonstrate the, uh, the there are plenty of modes in um, in a chamber with just by blowing across this bottle. Actually, the the fundamental is quite easy to excite. But if I blow it uh, a little bit off, uh, so we excite the harmonics more than the fundamental, you can hear all those higher overtones. Some of those are just the top to bottom, but you're also hearing the lateral modes. Okay. So the challenge with S12 uh, was to absorb the lateral mode modes, and this was a proof of concept. Um, what do you really. call this? <laughs> it's a, gosh, a dodecahedral uh, exponential absorber array, I suppose. Okay. Um, so it would have been a dodecahedron. Uh, one of them uh, is a port, uh, and the other is where... Uh, I did actually fit a small driver to do the testing work, but we don't need a driver to do it. And this sort of thing goes inside the cabinet. It, it does. I'll just I'll, I'll just quickly uh, demonstrate. It's a very pure resonance. You're not getting any of that <laughs> overturn stuff. The challenge, of course, is to get this into a practical loudspeaker, and it did go through a few stages of evolution. The first being to uh, fold these back in on themselves, uh, but still having the uh, the twelve sided dodecahedron approach. But um, it became reasonably obvious that, in fact, in a practical loudspeaker, all we had to do was to arrange those horns around the periphery. And if you see here, and oh, I see in the cutaway of the speaker, you've got uh, an outer shell, obviously, but you've also got this inner shell, and the absorb absorbent material, of course, is stuffed into these channels, but effectively you have a ring of it's like a cabinet within a cabinet. It, the, it, absolutely, the tubes inside it. Yeah, and the, of course, a hidden benefit of this is that structurally it's actually rather ideal because you've got these two skins separated by these ribs. So um, not only does it absorb resonances, but it makes a cabinet much stiffer. So yeah, added bonus. Oh, so that's how you get the tubes in. So the, then this tweeter has a tube for itself. Yes. And then the bass and mid-range frequencies up to about 3 kilohertz get absorbed into that section yeah. or sections back there. That's exactly it. Yeah. Fascinating. Thank you very much again, Lawrence. Gotcha. Now, when you look at a Kai S12 loudspeaker, you'll know that although it looks rather simple on the outside, it's super complex on the inside. And that complexity is what helps make it sound so good, it does. This is an amazing two-way speaker, one of the best on the market, period. But that's all we're gonna talk about in terms of tapered tube technology. Yet Lawrence, of course, had more to say. And we're gonna explore what he had to say in the next videos. Thank you for watching.